world has become globalized. I mean, that's, that's, that's a no-brainer. And um, because we've become so interdependent and, and, and because the media are at the forefront of promoting this, so, so that interdependence between and among nations, it's critical that we respond to that by offering knowledge about how you know, global media work. The problems that the world faces are in questions that you cannot tackle in isolation. Thinking about things like climate change, uh, global security, terrorism, sustainability, and centrally to all of these are the media. The media communicate these problems to us. Um, the solutions are also uh, arrived at through dialogue and debate, and the media are uh, platforms where these things happen. The idea behind this program is that globalization is not a homogenous progress, but it looks different from different vantage points. So obviously the way we understand the world looks different from the vantage point of Shanghai and if we compare it with, with Cape Town. It's just something different. It's not offered anywhere else in the world. It's a one-of-a-kind um, experience, something global and something just relevant for our time. We have three programs at the moment uh, where students spend the first year at the LSC and the second year abroad. So they can either spend uh, the second year in LA at the University of Southern California or in Shanghai at Fudan University or in Cape Town at the University of Cape Town. Here at LSC the students learn the theoretical side of things, it's very academic and theory focused and, and then with their degree at the their time at the UCT they'll learn the practical skills so they kind of get the best of both I guess. UCT is the leading research university on the African continent so we are at the forefront of new developments and that includes uh, media and film. We're also based in a very interesting city so students coming to Cape Town will be exposed to the media and film industry in uh, one of the biggest creative cities on the continent. It's quite a diverse place to be in. Um, it's in a beautiful city, which has got a sort of vibrant sort of media industry as well. One of the key features um, of the programs is that uh, students will be able to do an internship in Cape Town in their second year, so they will be able to get some professional expertise. Students can spend some time working um, in the film industry, in the media industry, um, with other journalists or with NGOs um, in, in, in Cape Town. They have the option to complete a creative production um, in Cape Town, so they may wish to complete a, a short documentary or to produce a website, um, so they will be able to gain some uh, professional skills as well. We can join or you know couple theory with the practice and I think sometimes in a purely theoretical program you miss out on that. If you look at our course outline for, for both the UCT side and the LSE side I think there's a whole range of interesting courses that students uh, will have sort of the opportunity to, 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 to choose. Global media students have gone on to follow a different career paths. They've worked in the private uh, public sector, they've worked in the film industry, they've worked in the area of policy analysis, they've worked in the field of marketing and NGOs. So it really prepares you for a range of high level careers in any part of the world really. We see students uh, starting their own businesses, um, starting small media production companies, working online. I'm looking for jobs literally everywhere in the world, mainly in the Global South, so somewhere in um, Southern Africa, maybe Southeast Asia. The flexibility of these two degrees um, will enable students to, to a large degree to tailor make uh, this degree to their interests and to enter into a career that they are passionate about and that they care about. Well, I like to think it opens up almost any opportunity really. Mm -hmm.